Hello everybody, what is up all you beautiful, beautiful people? My name is Alex and today we will be going on our merry way towards Bleak Falls Barrow to retrieve the Dragonstone Tablet thingy. So, yeah, that's happening all over again. I've done it a million times already. Of course, yeah, that buzzing was my phone. So unprofessional. I don't nearly really feel the need to be professional because, um, well, this is not a profession. The cloud very often. Oh, come on. Stop being such a pompous prick. I was talking to the cloud district comment, not you guys. I hope you understand that. <laughs> if not, um, yeah. That's unfortunate. That's all I have to say. Treasure. Come on, loading, please load faster. I guess. So I have to go up there. Um. Yeah, I'll go to Plagio Farm. I, I thought it would be more fun to hoof it, but quite honestly, uh, can't be bothered walking any more than I have to. I just. <clears throat> hoping that I'll uh, get to the point where um, yeah, after you kill the dragon uh, that's kind of when you start to be able to properly free roam in the game because uh, then you'll be able to grab the dragon shouts all over the place and uh, not really miss out much so I'll get to that point and then we'll start doing other stuff uh, not related to the storyline. Hope you guys are fine with that. I um, guess you could skip ahead <laughs> if you're interested in that. Interested in that. Um, the pathway up should be somewhere around here, shouldn't it? Let me double check the map here. Oh, it's far off, actually. What's this? Some. Bandits fighting with each other. Tarskrlar, the Wanderer, Talskar. The life of adventure and song. Oh, the he's a he's friends. a bard. Oh, I'm just gonna grab your uh, booty and uh, be off. I know, but the bards are pretty badass. Smell that fresh air. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight him. <laughs> I died. A whole bunch of times to bards before <laughs> thinking I could just gank that uh, that weak little wanderer. They're not that weak. They're really adept spellcasters I found. <coughs> so I'm keeping an eye out for um, iron veins as well. Once I'm as I'm going up here and trying to. Uh, Grab some uh, herbs. Maybe I should level up strength, no health. Um, so I could have um, carried more, have higher encumbrance level. Is this not working? Am I not getting any vein iron? Let's just do the animation, I guess. Oh, apparently I have two pickaxes. One on my belt and one on my hands. Hmm. <laughs> Fancy that. So, I, <clears throat> one of the mistakes I made in my last playthrough was that I, I pretty much power leveled my smithing skill to, like, 80 before my actual level myself was like 10 or something like that and then kind of uh, made uh, all the monsters and so on be uh, quite a bit harder than me because um, that I was able to handle because uh, well uh, essentially my level was a lot higher but my skill in dealing damage uh, and survivability, aside from the armor of course, uh, was very low, so 
it's not necessarily all that uh, a good of idea to power level your smithing or alchemy or whatever. Unless, of course, you are higher level and just want to catch up with it. Um, so I'm going to try to keep my smithing around my level, um, logically speaking, I guess. Like at this point, I want to be in full steel, of course, but um, around 10, 15, I think I want to be in full uh, dweamer, I guess. Like I said, I'm keeping an eye out. Oh, well, yeah, there's, there's also this bandit tower you can keep. You can take out. Um, that's some very nice loot. It's used to be filled with uh, bandit cone women. I really like that shield bash. Uh, being able to shield bash. Shield bash. I've never, like I said, I've never actually played. Well, was that an iron shield? What am I using right now? Yeah, iron shield, fine. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. I need. I should probably get some stamina uh, potions going. This is like the only, only uh, character setup I would actually consider getting stamina potions and using them. At any other class, I would just <laughs> spam and do so much damage that they wouldn't be able to retaliate fast enough to be uh, be a threat. This one is a bit more defensive, and uh, hopefully, I will be able to stand my own against boss-type monsters better. But uh, <coughs> yeah, we'll, we shall see. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? Let's see. Um, do I want to jump down there? No, I don't think so. Could, but... I would probably not keep my ankles intact. And uh, I'm quite fond of my ankles, as they are. Just as a general rule of thumb, um, in case you didn't know my personality. I like my feet just the way they are. Functionable. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Ah, Bleak Falls Barrow. How I've not missed you. Man, I had so many characters I played the uh, beginning areas. I've done this part so many damn times. Let's see what you've got. Oh, that's nice. Heavy armor is good, please. Get back here. Holy crap. It's a two-hander, isn't it? Swing my sword. Come on. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Anyone else? No, doesn't look like it. Let's grab the arrows. They don't weigh anything, so I might as well. Right. And steel. Let's see. My sword is... 9 damage. Maybe I want to grab the axe instead. Um, I know axe is like a... <clears throat> okay, so the balance uh, between the weapons is... Swords are fast and uh, low damage. Uh, axes are the middle ground and maces are slow but hit like a freaking train. And... Um, yeah, I think maybe I want to grab the axe instead. I didn't, be a, wasn't able to improve this sword anyways, so I might as well just keep it for now. Keep it as my main weaponry. It still goes under one-handed anyways, so might as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bleak Vault Barrow. Back again, back again. Iron Axe? No thanks. I want to keep to my sword. My steel axe, sorry. I'm going to grab all the uh, skeever stuff. Hoping I don't die. Because usually when I die in a, a, later in a dungeon, I usually 
end up just running fast all the loot uh, the second time I run through it. Never really bother looting all the stuff all over again. Iron shield, steel war axe, war axes. I finished my train of thought earlier on, but um, I said in an earlier video that I love how they have added more um, killing blows. Yeah, I remember finishing that sentence. Hey guy, your leather cloth armor is sticking very rigidly out. That must have been uncomfortable to wear. Why the hell did I just pick up a shovel? Um, <laughs> you pick up the weirdest stuff as... Uh, as an adventurer in the Skyrim or Elder Scrolls games, I found Soul Jam. Nice. Lock picking. Cool. Let's quick save. Doesn't hurt, really. I should totally be using quick save a lot more than I usually do. Anything in here? Um, I seem to remember there isn't much loot on the way here until you get to the spider. Yeah, like I said, I have done this dungeon a whole lot of times. Um, the only randomizing valor, val variable, sorry, the only randomized variable is the uh, the model of the characters and and uh, respectively the drop, the drops, the loot they drop as a result of that. If a guy is wearing steel armor, he will drop steel armor. Simple as that. I remember this being one of the uh, first um, actual like challenges in the game. Do I have any potions? I should Just put that on. Maybe I want to favorite that. Um, So yeah, this is like the first ever actual challenge in the game. And I figured it out pretty easily. Apparently a lot of people have used my video as a reference to find out the uh, the uh, sequence for this challenge. Uh, obviously you can see there's a snake there and the uh, whale fish thing there. And there's missing one there. And that is of course this one. So it's snake snake fish. Snake, snake, fish, click. Otherwise you would get peppered by these uh, arrow shooters right there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. But a lot of people have been using my videos for uh, proper uh, you know, references to help them out uh, in the game. Hunting bow, nice. Nothing in there. I should totally be starting to read the... Whenever it says empty, there is of course nothing in it. Where the fuck did I keep the skewer go? What the hell? That's a wall skewer. Empty getting a knockback effect while up against a door wall uh, is, uh, makes the skewers uh, wall climbers. <coughs> did not know that. Must be a weird part of their physiology, I guess. Fireball. I always liked fireballs, especially against the um, the undead. I don't know. For some reason, <coughs> yeah. For some reason, I always feel that fire damage or fire would always be useful against uh, dried up undead monsters. Yeah. If you get, if you get that logic. Hello! Is he already wounded? Doesn't look already wounded. Apparently, according to his name, he should be. I've been poisoned. Oh, boss. 
I'm gonna have to hide away for a few seconds here. Actually, I should just level up. That's a free, free uh, full health or heal. Let's see, armor. Uh, I already did that, didn't I? Smithing, I already did. Block. It's the one hand dead, I guess. So yeah, leveling up uh, gives you back to full health. It's a nice little trick to keep in mind if you have a level stored. But no potions or something like that. <sighs> Shut up. What's your name? You're just... Just a thief. And I'm gonna kill you anyways. Loot all this crap first. Nah, hold on. I'll be there in a second. It's coming loose. I can feel it. That's it. Never should have you fool. Bye. Yeah, uh, in case you didn't know, of course you know if you're watching this. But in case you didn't know, um he starts running off this way, uh, with the golden claw. What you need later on. It's basically a key to the locked door later on in the game. Uh, in this dungeon, I mean. Yeah, he runs down here and either gets killed by these uh, these guys or uh, runs into one of those traps. These guys. I always thought the Nord weapons looked really cool, but they aren't really all that useful. Yeah, cool model, but... Very cool models, but not really that useful. Actually, this one is kind of baller. Let's uh, give it a try, shall we? Uh, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> 13, 12, 55. Yeah, they're not worth much, but they... Uh, do moderate the amount of damage, I guess. Just gonna loot all the uh, undead here. Because they drop those. Um, actually, this one has a one handed sword. No, I don't want that. They drop the uh, bone meal, which I need for uh, alchemy later on. Yeah, that Arvo guy. I have dice to the Draugr hero, walks on that trap. Um, so, yeah. In case you didn't know. This one is obviously going to come back to life because you can't loot him. Like you see, this one I can loot. This one, I can't. Also, the, uh, the ones that are coming to life uh, usually have uh, weapons on them. It's not always easy to see, but... But, like I mentioned, if you can't loot them, they will be coming out to life. I, usually they're triggered if you walk past them, like this, or uh, in this case, this one would be triggered if I came down here. There's probably some hidden... But there not only really probably is, but there is, because these guys came to life at the same time. Chances are there would be one up there that came to life to kind of surround you. Okay, there's, there's an archer over here. Smack him in the face. Easy peasy. I uh, guess I'll grab the bow. I have a bit of encumbrance space left to carry some more crap, but uh, I also wanna. I know there's a bunch of stuff at the end of the game, uh, or this dungeon, I mean, that. Uh, has some nice value to it, then it's worth grabbing. And uh, I need to save space for that in my inventory. Well, space is never an issue. The weight or encumbrance uh, is... Actually, you know what? Um, let's see, scrolls. I do remember getting this one. Oh, 
goof. So this gonna this guy's gonna walk over the fire. Like so. Uh yeah. I have my sword still bound like that. So usually I I run ahead and trigger all these guys to come ahead come at me and then I set that stuff on fire. Just to, you know, watch them burn. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Wow. I'm doing a lot of power attacks. I don't know if there's something weird going on, but uh, maybe it's because I'm using a shield. I mean, I have that on. I, I have no idea why. But I seem to be doing a lot of power attacks. Yes, I do realize I have low health. And I do realize I leveled up. I'm saving it for situations such as boss fights and stuff like that. That's what I call the head splitter. Arrows, great sword, no thanks. Hide helmet, no. This room actually had me confused a little bit to begin with. Um, well, for a few seconds. But clearly you have to go down this way. Also, I remember these these things are nice to uh, level up um, your alchemy skill with. Troll skull. Rah, 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 rah. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going. Hey, guy. You have a pickaxe. I'm not gonna grab it because I already have one. And there's a vein here. Let's grab that. I guess using the animation on the veins is kind of cool because you get a different per perspective on your character, which you usually never do. Let's see if any of these are special pickaxes. Not really. I know there's one special pickaxe in the game, but um, I haven't been able to, well, haven't really even tried to get it yet in the game. So, maybe we'll make that one of our pro um, projectives, uh, objectives, yeah. Make that one of our objectives with this playthrough. Try to get at least the pickaxe. Notches pickaxe, or notched pickaxe, it's called, and clearly that is a reference to Minecraft. It should be on the top of the world um, by Hrothgar. Um, it's last I heard of it, at least. Yeah, I know I picked up the shield I shouldn't have. Also, this thing, this little secret down here, I never actually uh, found my first playthrough chest. And these guys. I'm kind of glad I did a second playthrough um, back in the day. Not that there's usually anything super awesome down there, but hey, why not? Why not? If you can hear some weird sounds from outside, by the way, uh, it's literally blowing up to a huge blizzard outside here. And um, snow, snowstorm, blizzard, and um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going out for a walk later on with my girlfriend. <laughs> no, but but for reals, I actually do like um, snow. I like living in a country with four seasons, uh, such as Norway. I do like the snow, and I do like the autumns and fall. And Spring. I know I'll do follow the same thing. I just balls. Grass more health. Apparently, I can't really hold my own. Such as is. Let's see. 
Requires 30. Uh, what about this one? 30? Could reflex this. So yeah, that's the time slow thingy. Um, blocking is 25% more effective. Let's grab that one again. I like being able to block. Usually, I would just have um, a weapon and uh, restoration spells, but this is kind of kind of the same thing. Only instead of taking the damage and resurrecting or uh, removing the damage, uh, it's more of a completely blocking the damage out. Did I just see some purple and pink artifacts there? I have to watch the video back. I think I did. Let's run! Ouch. Here I know there's a bunch of uh, guys. It would be so cool if you could have like, fire arrows. Or if those guys had fire arrows. That would be kind of cool. To light this on fire, I mean. Bye. I know that's suicidal, but I like doing it. I really love those uh, setup traps thingies like that. Let's kill this guy real quick. Bye. He took a slide. Yeah, I'm really looking to going. Uh, Sliding, snow sliding. What's that called in English? I can't remember. Mm. When you slide on snow. <laughs> That's, yeah. Can't remember. Leave a comment down below if you remember what it's called in Norwegian. No, English, I mean, of course. I know what it's called in Norwegian, of course, but. I don't use English enough to be able to actually. Uh, keep up with it like as a concurrent second language and I use English a lot even uh, compared to most Norwegians Golden Claw so this is how you find the secret this is also apparently something that a lot of people um, uh, watch my videos to get so it's a bear fly owl bear fly owl buffalo Yeah, that's kind of cool. Fly out. Bear fly out. Boom. Break the key. Apparently I have telepathic abilities. Telekinetic abilities, sorry. Not telepathic, but telekinetic. So, uh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Anything useful in the surrounding areas here? Guess not. I wish I could grab those fireflies and, you know, uh, put them in my potions. That would be a lot of easy fireflies to begin with early on the game. Iron Gauntlets of Major Wielding! One-handed attacks. Why are they called Major Wielding if they're one-handed attacks? Minor Sure Grip. And Minor Sure Grip. Why is Major for one-handed and Minor for uh, two-handed? Well, maybe it's the amount of the effect, not the actual um, effect itself. Yeah. I think that makes sense. So, let's do this. Activate that. Make him pop out. Um, actually, let's use one of these scrolls. I think I picked up another scroll, didn't I? Slide him on fire.
the only real shout uh, that these guys use, um, Dragon Overlords, Draugr Overlords, sorry, is like uh, the end of this, this army shout. I mean, that was so annoying back when I played the first playthrough. Ancient Nordborn Axe of Cold. Sweet. Now I want to use that. And um, I think I timed, timed my, or calculated my encumbrance level quite nicely. Yep. So let's equip this one because oh, it's better simple as that. And I was already using an axe, so that works out nicely. I think maybe I want to disenchant it because I want the effect to be able to put on whatever I feel uh, necessary in the future. But for now, I can keep it uh, as an active weapon, uh, as my active weapon. I never really checked out these areas. Um, doesn't really seem to be anything useful though. <coughs> I always pick up the skull. Damn it! I didn't want to pick it up. I always um, pick up the skull, like hold it in my hand, and then throw it off because then I can grab the flowers really easy. Unfortunately, I also always pick up the damn skull, like in my inventory, which is not necessary. Let's see, anything else? Shovel I can throw away, skull, wooden plate. You end up with a lot of those random crap things that you accidentally pick up uh, throughout the throughout your stories. So, um, yeah, I think that's... Uh, about it for this episode. I'm gonna jump over to um, Whiterun and uh, hmm, yeah. Guess I'll see you guys over at Whiterun for a, for a end of the session uh, round up. So I'm gonna go there and. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, found it useful or whatever. If you didn't, uh, in after the next episode, I would assume uh, I will not be doing anything story -led related uh, for a little bit. I will go off my own way and do some stuff. And um, yeah, so I hope um, that would be more entertaining to watch. But for now. Um, I kind of need to finish up the storyline uh, for a little bit. But yeah, guess I'll see you guys next episode. Um, hope you guys have a good time and day and have fun watching this. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.